Hello, my name is Keshwani. This K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GMAT out of this book here, the GMAT Review, the official guide. If you do not have this book already, purchase one immediately. You should be able to find it at MBA.com. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 185, problem solving number 238. Let's take a look at it. But before I start solving the problem, let me introduce you this book here, the newer edition, the 12th edition. The same exact problem that I'm about to solve, which appears on page 185, on page problem solving number 238 in the 11th edition, this problem is not It does not appear in this book, so that's why I don't have a tag for the 12th edition. It's not in this book. They have removed it. Let's take a look at it. I'm doing it because I was solving all the problems from the 11th edition, and I just want to go in sequence. I don't want to skip anything. That's why I'm doing it, even though it's no longer exists in the new edition. It's a very difficult problem. It's not a simple problem. Uh, for somebody who's not good in very, uh, somebody who's not very good in algebra, it is not a simple thing, but let's see what we can do here. Read the problem, open, turn to the page and read it with me. It, shared, it says the shaded, the shaded region in the picture above represents the rectangular frame with the length 18 inches and the width 15 inches. This is 18 inches, this is 15 inches. The frame encloses a rectangular picture as you can see here. And we are told that it has the same area as the frame itself. The area of the picture, area of this picture here. Let's put the W outside so we can put down the... The area of, the, of, of this picture is the same as the area of the frame outside. If the length and the width of the picture have the same ratio as the length and the width of the frame, so the length and the width of the picture is same as the length and the width of the frame, the question simply is, what is the length? <coughs> I'm going to show you. What I did in this particular problem myself, and then if, you, if I have the time in the clip, I'll, I'll solve it the classical way, the proper way. But there are two ways of doing this thing, the, 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 what I call the classical way, the orthodox way, the traditional way, the geeky way, the nerdy way, the academic way, the proper way, and of course the quick and dirty way. The quick and dirty way that I did is, I pretended there are five answer choices, A, B, C, D, and E. I pretended the answer choice was C. Let's see what C works out to be. C says 9 over, 9 over root 2. And root 2, if you don't know it, if you don't know what root 2 is, you should know this for the exam. Root 2 is approximately 1.4. You should, you have to know it by heart. Similarly, root 3 is approximately 1.7. We don't need root 3 here, but you should know this. So 9 over root 2, I said to myself, is same as, uh, is approximately same as 1.4. It's not equal to, it's approximately equal to 1.4 which I said was same as, uh, approximately same as 1.5, which of course is same as 90 over 15, and 75 over, 75 is 5 times 15, so this is 6. So answer to IC says that the length of the picture is 6. And since they are the same ratio, the length and the width, if the length is 6, if the length is 6, the width has to be 5. If, if answer to IC is the correct answer, let's see what happens in that case. Okay, let's see what happens in that case. I'm going to show you here what's going to happen. From here to here is 6, which means this is 6, which means this is 6, and this is 5, and this is 5. You should be able to see right away that in that case, area of this just one strip, this one strip alone, area of this green strip that I just showed you is 15 times 6. 15 times 6. And the area of the frame in that case will be 6 times 5. As you can see, this is far greater than the area of the frame. And we are told that the area of the entire frame, this is just one strip, 15 times 6, 6, 6, and 6, 
5, 5, and 5, and this is 5, and this is 5, because they have to be in the same ratio, that tells, this is already 3 times the area of this one strip unknown is more, is 3 times, 3 times the area of the, of the picture, and we still have that, and we still have that. That tells me that the area of the picture, the, that tells me that the length of the picture cannot be 6. 6 is way too small, that's what it tells me. Let's look at the answer choices. So C is wrong. Let's look at D. Let's see what D says. D says 15 times 1 over root 2. I'm going to quickly do it here. 1 over root 2 is approximately the same as 1.4. 1 over 1.4, which is same as 10 over 14, which I rounded again to 10 over 15, or 2 third. 2 third. So 1 minus 2 third is going to be 1 third. 1 one third, 15 times one third, I shouldn't say equal to because it's not equal to, it's approximately equal to. It's only five, this is too small. Let's look at E. Oh, E is very simple, it's E is just four and a half. E is just four and a half, that's too, too small. Answer choice has to be either A or B, and it cannot be B either. It cannot be B because B says, 3 over 2, which is only 1.5. We just we just established that 6 is too small. The length of the picture has to be more than 6. B is too small. The answer is A. That's all. That's how I did it. That's how I did the problem when I solved the problem myself. If I were taking the real exam. Let me look at the camera, see if I have time to do the classical work. And if I don't, I'll do the next clip. That's all. I'm going to do now the same problem in the, in the classical way. I'm seven minutes into the clip. Let me do the same thing in the classical way. I'm done. I'm going to erase everything. Actually, I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to do it here. And classical way is only for those people who are very good in algebra. And if you're not, you have no business doing it in the classical way. So I'm not going to explain the work. I'm just going to do it. And hopefully you will follow me. So I'm going to start with this statement here. The area of the picture, which is length times width has to be the same as the area of the frame which is 18 times 15 minus the length area of the picture you see this was 18 times 15 this is length times width so the area of the frame here has to be 18 times 15 minus the area of the frame which is where I'm getting that let's keep on going I don't want to run out of time here. So bring the L, uh, L times W on this side. 2LW is equal to 18 times 15. That tells me that L times W is 9 times 15. We also know that the ratio of length to width has to be same as the, the ratio of the frame. Again, give me a second. I'm going to solve for so what they're asking for length. So we're going to solve for W here. 18 times W is going to be 15 times L. 15 times L. Bring W on, on the top and bring 18 on the bottom side. So that's what W equals to. I'm going to put it in here. L times W, which is this. 15 times L over 18 equals 9 times 15. Let's continue here. L times L is L squared and this 15 here this 15 here is going to cross out with that 15 that tells me that L squared equals 9 times 18 which is same as 9 times 9 9 times 18 is same as 9 times 2 that's your L squared therefore L is 9 times root 2 et voila that's it the answer choice is A, as I told you before. I hope you found this helpful. Get hold of me through. Uh, get hold of me if you wish to hire my service for personal private tutoring. But that's what you have to do. You have to find some quick and dirty way instead of doing the classical way. If you cannot figure out the classical work, this is it. There is no guarantee that you're going to be right all the time, but at least it's better than doing nothing at all and staring at the bloody thing, or even worse, picking the answer to it that looks right, because the anything that looks right is a sucker answer. Get hold of me if you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring or if you wish to buy my DVDs or solution manuals. Here is my website address www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, 
gmat.com and send me an email. All right? Thank you.